Hello everyone, and welcome back to La Milena. Where we... Back to more pain and suffering. Yeah, we technically recently finished the easy part of the game. Oh yeah. Not that same thing. Yeah, see, the thing is... Um... Bah. The... Gate of Guidance and Mausoleum of the Giants are the only two regions that can be completed without going out to visit other areas. Fun. Yep. Everything else is a bit... You know, you need things from everywhere. Well, I suppose we can continue exploring this and... Maybe get some advice, some advice from Mordrook. Sonic. Gotta go past. Hello, Muldrak. Muldrak finally starting to wake up. Muldrak is the daughter of an, of an excellent tailor and one of the ra race of the four philosophers. Father worked for the philosophers on earth. Naturally, Muldrak served them as well. Wilbrook was chosen to be your helper because of her excellence. So if you run into any problems, come see me. Wilbrook cannot move to preserve the darn life. Okay. Do you have anything else to say? A field covered in darkness, you say? Actually, that's right next door. Wilbrook thinks there's a way to make it bright, but it's difficult. First, you have to solve the riddle of the god and the light in the chamber of birth. Then there will be a change in the Chamber of Extinction, but it's still far ahead, be patient and don't be hasty. Yeah, that's gonna be a while. Probably should have taken a screenshot of that. Maybe. Corridor that never ends, you say? But that's the endless corridor, of course it will never end. But if you have the key to of eternity, then you could travel deep inside. Screenshot that. But even deep inside, it's still endless. And she gives you various hints and stuff. A moving floor in the tree labyrinth noticed. that doesn't move? I believe it was the dear children that created those coins. The dear children had wings, you know. They were about as smart as me and figured out a way to make floating floors. They would only need that if they had wings, perhaps it's falling into disrepair as, it's, as it is. Stomping on it might help. Stomping it high above and maybe it will move. Screenshot. Anyway. Right. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that one's open too. Nifty. Oh, maybe it isn't. Uh, okay then. I think I need to kill more, uh, the boss of the area, maybe. Boss Perhaps. No, that happened. Uh, mine Sonic. Yeah. Let's just <laughs> go back to the Temple of the Moonlight meanwhile. We. You're an asshole. Don't forget to not attack. Oh, you can attack. The temple will just have words with you. Not exactly words as much as just lightning. Yeah, tomato, tomato. Yeah, and it does. Yeah, this is the area where you need to remember that going against the uh, wall is just all around. Hmm. Yeah, so otherwise you that. can't actually go off some of those. And oh, that's the first tally with the script we ca we can trans we cannot translate. We have to find something else for that. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, 
Или did we write in Kang? We write. No shit. It's me. There's some writing that the Griff Reader can tra cannot translate, right? The normal ancient scripture was written by the four philosophers from the race of the seven children. The other writing, written by folks from an even older time, cannot be translated. I look into other methods, so hang on. So what's up here? Oh look, it's Eden! That makes me incredibly suspicious. A paradise deep in the fog. Clear the fog and you will be surrounded by more happiness. Head for the tree of Eden with the fruit of paradise in hand. Green screen. So yeah, we can't actually do anything here until we have the fruit of paradise. Whatever that is. I'm pretty sure it will say so directly. We we mostly he came here to get this item. Very important one. Problem is, you know. Actually getting to it. Gonna come in handy. Yep, now we can hang on to walls. You found a grapple claw, it's me. You found the grapple claw yet? If I remember right, you've got ninja blood in you. <laughs> okay. I heard that from your father. If you use that grapple claw, you can scale walls like a ninja. Jump up towards the wall and hold up and towards the wall. You will fall by releasing up. You can also jump further by pressing the jump button while hanging onto the wall. So yeah, it's pretty useful. So hello, just great here. Seriously, it's bad at skeleton. Doesn't want to. No, you no read. Atop the navel of Nemto. Screenshot. Totally not ominous. It will, like most things in La Mulena, it will make more sense when you get, once you get to it. I imagine so. Oh, damn it, I fell. Do that. Which means I'm gonna have to climb all the way back up. Well, I'm, well, I'm gonna have to do that twice now. Yeah. As you might imagine, the Temple of Moonlight is really good at taking all of your weights. <laughs> you think? Yeah, just maybe. Alright. First of all... Scan! Behold the Temple of Moonlight. It is the Sanctuary of Lovely One. So, here's the thing. We can't... we cannot teleport to it. That's, uh, an issue. Mm hmm Because it's the backside. And um, yeah, we need something special for it. Alright, let's go get that other Dominos. Oh. No shit. Yeah, unsurprisingly, it's the map. Huh, didn't notice I could just jump down. 
I should not have jumped down here. Huh? Thank you, Knife, for being so fast. I have one weight left. Well... There's technically an, an app that tells you where secret rooms are on the map and that you could technically use that to figure this out. But there's literally no other hint besides that and I really want this weapon. If thou hungers for power, be prepared to commit the ultimate sacrifice. That's not ominous. Totally. Literally, the only way to get it is to make the rock bump into the block. Yeah, of thing! Axe! <laughs> Wait, there was something there? That seems to me! Well then, down we go! Okay. We're gonna be coming back here. Maybe? I mean, I finished the game and I've never seen them. Maybe Which something for the Hell Temple. Secret. Yeah, and um, there's this... Secret. It might be for the extra idea, which is worrying. There's no, this... Fine. There's this dungeon called the Hell Temple. Um, let me put it this way. It's completely optional. It's horribly, it's horribly difficult to even unlock it. And once you get there, it accurately tells you that there's nothing for you there and there's literally no point in doing it. <laughs> if you do still go ahead and do it, what you get is, is a cursed speedo that stays on you. <laughs> and that's it. That's literally the only thing you get out of it. It even changes That's the character funny. model and everything to reflect it. <laughs> Some viewers may be disappointed about it, but we will not be doing the Hell Temple. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Well, now that we have the axe... I feel slightly more confident in not dying horribly. So let's do the third boss. And this is technically the third boss. This one and the one in the... Uh, in the spring in the sky are technically interchangeable. Oh yeah, we haven't actually finished exploring this area now that I think about it. Yeah, the axe is a bit more powerful. You think? Meditate on their wedge. Do nothing more than pray. I will be using that soon. Really? So, Nanoka? Mm-hmm. Hey, I found the show! Oh, look, flashbangs. Oh, no, no, no flashbangs. Um, was it again? I forgot. Oh, well. More importantly, <laughs> yeah. heatproof case. Oh. I can now open the menu while in lava. Why is that relevant right now? Remember the Chamber of Extinction? Uh, okay. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. 
the holy fish dwells on this rock. It shall be transformed into a scale sphere, polished by a maiden of purity. It shall protect to from impure water. Yeah, that just tells you what the scale sphere does before you actually find it. It's like, hey, there's an item that makes you immune to uh, po poison water or whatever. So, in case it wasn't obvious, that pressure plate and that is a trap. No shit. Grant for the power of the twins. The twins are two in one, the twins are identical to each other. This one might not be so obvious. Can I scan this? Yes. The Eye of Horus. The left eye of the god Horus. Symbolizes that which sees the sun, also known as the Eye of Wedge. So if we press that, the eye just falls on you and crushes you. Hmm. I'm gonna have to come back at time. Unless we read, say, what you actually have to do after killing this bastard. It's just stand there. Huh. Do nothing more than pray. Apparently. And that's another seal we can't open yet. And yep, that's the angel that we didn't have for this area yet. We have the one for the thing in the sky, which technically we can use anywhere, but you know. One way or another I'm gonna do this walk first. Even though there's basically no nothing I really unlock from this yet because I don't have what I need for what comes next. Oh well. Oh, this is gonna be a fun ride. Yep. Make sure to get on the right on the right side because otherwise he crushes you to death in one go. This is the reason I got the axe. Okay then. Getting the shield probably also would have been a good idea. Probably, because he looks about done with your shit already. Luckily, the axe does a lot of damage. In fact, while it's kinda slow, it is also the most damaging weapon in the game. <laughs> there is one that does almost as much damage and is faster, so it's still kind of preferred. Yeah, um, the twins, Idigna and Buranun, have the body of a snake. They desire to travel far. This desire took the form of the twin statue and its gate. The twin statue calls for the gate's power. The hero Hermes used the twin statues to release the twins. Twin screen. Yeah, we can't actually do anything here until we get that statue, and there's a timer. We die if that runs out. Oh. Which means we will need which means we will need to fight the boss all over again. <laughs> Luckily we can just yeah. jump down there and do it as again if we once we do have the statue, but you know we don't. Yeah. Oh I'm already healed. Well in that case. Alright. We Uh, 
And about we do a double take, right? Don't take damage from Wallet anymore, so... Yeah. And I'll be honest, this was the second reason why I wanted the axe. Also because it will be a while before it will get any other weapon, I think. Oh, oh no. Well, that's something. At least we didn't really take that. Silver lining. Yep. And now this thing. Good luck. This battle's a bit weird. Oh god. No no. It's a bit weird. Oh god. Tell me you're in a Tohu player. Green archaeologist about to die. Yep. Green archaeologist has died. That was weed, the axe. It just does a lot of damage. That I noticed. I usually like to wait until we unlock Fairies, which I technically know how to do, but I haven't found a hint that tells you what it is. Hmm. I could technically unlock Fairies right now. Really, really good. Sure, make me start with less HP this time. Why don't you? Thinks you need a challenge, is all. Yeah. Let's go with that. Yeah, it's totally because the game knows I've already beaten the game. Yeah. Absolutely what it is. Don't mind the fact that I'm still pretty bad at it. I mean, how many times have I beaten Mass Effect? Right. <laughs> Good music, though. I still prefer the one in the sequel. But it's still good music. Well, I managed to hit it twice. Ow. It's nice that I can hit it on the way down, but... Ow, I let it hit me. Yeah, the problem is avoiding him also hitting me in return. Ow. Yeah, that attack is bullshit. Oh. Flat. 
Do you know something something else about the game the second game does? <laughs> it auto says right before you use the angel. Yeah, that's uh helpful. Yeah, second game is a good example of well, we added more quality of life, so we're just gonna make the game harder in return. <laughs> it should be like that sometimes. I'm getting really used to doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Catch a music anyway. I'm getting used to doing it, guys. To be fair, I meant that uh, I meant the getting the quickly. Kinda. Sure you did. No point did I expect this was would be easy. <laughs> Fuck you, game. I mean, it would rather not. You're right. The game's the one fucking me up. <laughs> I managed to catch a good cycle there. Comes more. You probably should just avoid jumping during time. Yeah, I feel like it's jumping and uh... Uh, let's give it one more try. And being on the edge of it seems to not work in your favor. I'm trying to stay somewhat in the middle, but the. Uh... All of the cores aren't really helping. If I fail this try, I'm just gonna go somewhere else. This was can wait.
fact, I think last time I beat this boss I had double jump. Which go figure might be sort of helpful. You know, maybe. Okay, I think I got a... Okay, I had a better angle. And then I didn't. part of the second half. <laughs> you know what? You know where we can go. I would very much rather go to the ice level. E, e, e. are infused into the gemstones. Turn screen. Hmm. Not sleek and shiny. Me, I'm not bald. I see sleeper. Come be help. Good luck. Oh, okay. The illusion has no end. The key to eternity rests within. A demon with a weapon brings forth the illusion. A demon that endlessly consumes life. That's me. Hello, giant. Which one do you think I should break first? Mm. Not sure, but I feel like that. I feel I feel like that that uh that pressure plate is um one hell of a trap. This one? Yeah. Hmm. Those seek in Eden, open the four boxes, seek the four pedestals, within the hands of the four who reside in a place bathed in movement. Let's print that one. Well, I can't actually get to the other pressure plate now that I think about it. Hmm. Just. Hmm. I was like sure that I could just go through that, but I guess not. Alright, it was the other combination. No? You know what? I messed up. Uh, so I'm gonna. You done goofed. That's the word for it. How's our clock running? Uh, getting there. Let me just quickly redo this part and then we're done. Alright, I can't get in there. 
Can you tell him I'm really looking forward to getting to the second game? Just a little bit. Of course it goes to stuff. That was required first. Mm. Yeah, that's the fa uh, phase two one. But this kind of important, you know. I mean, Maybe. still can't actually teleport to this place, but I can save here. Also, their stalags is way over there. We will we'll check that later. Oh yeah, there's the hint. It's me, I'm not getting to be a hassle. The Holy Grail is great for warping through the normal world, but you probably want to start warping in the ultimate world as well. As I recall, the wavelength sent out from a certain piece of game software reacts with the Holy Grail. If you wrote that software, you should be able to warp into the ultimate world as well. Um, yeah, that's all the info we get about it. So yeah. What about that game self where we got in the like right at the very beginning? No, we don't have it yet. That's a oh. different one. It isn't decided in this region though, we just can't get it. Anyway. Because somehow it got somehow it got in here. Yep. Apparently ancient civilizations also had programmers. Hey then. Anyway. Hope you'll have fun. Uh, next time we'll explore that door over there, probably, maybe, I don't know yet. Bye! Peace.